Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. Today, as you can see on my screen, we'll talk about loops. So what is a loop? So a loop is something that executes the sequence of statements many a times until the stated condition becomes false. A loop consists of two parts, a body of the loop and a control statement. The control statement is a combination of some conditions that direct the body of the loop to execute until the specified condition becomes false. The purpose of the loop is to repeat the same code a number of times. So what do we understand from here? So loop is something when needed because let's say you have a program to print something 100 times or you have to calculate something 100 times. You cannot write the same statement 100 times in your script or a program. So what you do, you run a loop and in that you will be having a control statement in which you will be controlling the statement to number of times. For example, you want to run something 100 times. So you, you will give the value 100. And then other thing is the body. In that body, you will write whatever you want to execute 100 times. So let's talk about for loop. So for loop syntax is something like this. It starts from for, which is the keyword, slash L, percentage percentage variable, in, lower limit, increment, upper limit, do your code to do something. So for is a keyword over here. Slash L is a switch that is used to denote that the loop is used for iterating through some ranges. In is again a keyword and it opens up a bracket in which we have three values. First is the lower limit, second is the increment or decrement, third is the upper limit. Lower limit is something from which loop starts running. Increment is the value that you are incrementing at every step. Upper limit is the value up to which you want your loop to run. After that do is again a keyword and your code to do something. This would be your body. This would be your control statement. Let's move on to the demo part. Let's take a look at this program. So in the script, what we can see is the for loop is written over here. We are using this. Let's just clean this. In this for loop, we have used that slash L for the ranges. I is the iterating value. That, that's the variable. You can take anything. Generally, for loops, we take I. One is the start. One here in the second one is the increment per step. Eight is the limit up to which we want to run. Let's make it 10. Let's see what happens. Now, what we are trying to do over here is we are running a value, uh, sorry, running a control statement in which we are starting a, uh, from 1 till 10 with an increment of 1. So let's see what it prints. Enter and see, we can see that the value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 10. So value from 1 is the first step from where the loop starts till 10, which is the limit and increment of 1 over here, which is this value. Let's take another example. If you want to make it 2, let's see what happens. The increment is step 2. If it is 1, then it should be 1. You can change it accordingly. That is, you can see that 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The value went on after jumping 2 limits. So that's what this 2 is doing. If you make it 4, it will jump 4. So that's how it's done. Let's just clean this. What I'll do is I'll do some reverse looping. I'll right click, create a new file. Let's name it 02 underscore for loop. Let's name it reverse dot bat, which is utmost important. Now you can see this file has been created outside this folder. So what you can do is just drag this and drop it in loops. And now it has come inside this folder. This is one of those facilities that uh, this, uh, this editor has. Now, we are not going to write the whole code. We'll just copy it from here. We'll just paste it and make some changes. So we'll take first value to be 0, sorry, 10. We are doing a decrement. So minus 1 decrement and we'll run till 1. So we'll change this to understand more. I'll put all this code on GitHub. You can copy from there. So 10 minus 1, 1 means it starts from 10. Let's change it to decrement because it will be reverse. First step is minus 1. 
and the end value is 1. Let's see what happens now. We'll have 0, 2. We'll do tab, enter, and we can see 10, 9, 8, 7 till 1. So this is a reverse loop just by changing this value. Now, if I make it 2 over here, you will see that it will hop minus 2 values. And I'll run it again. You can see 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and so on. And that's how you play. This is a very basic example of printing this. It can contain a lot of code, but the control statement will be like this. Only the values will change over here. So that's it for today, guys. In case you did not understand anything, please feel free to comment below and we'll address all those issues. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.